District 4 encompasses some of the poorest neighborhoods in the city of San Diego. Revitalizing the district located in the southeastern section of the city has been a longtime goal of past leaders and they've met with few or mixed results over the years. The two candidates, Democrats Myrtle Cole and Dwayne Crenshaw, promised to make good on that goal. Crenshaw was scheduled to join us here today, but he canceled without explanation. I'm joined now by Myrtle Cole. Myrtle, you say one of your top goals is to attract more jobs to for your constituents, yet leaders throughout the years have promised that with very mixed results. They haven't made enormous strides in that. What would you do to make good on that promise? Well, I think Tony Young did attract uh, jobs into our district, but we just need to do more. I have more resources now. I'm going to work with labor. I'm going to work with developers. I'm going to work with community leaders. I'm going to work with Civic San Diego, which uh, is the SCDC was dissolved and CCDC, and now we have Civic San Diego. We want to make the process, uh, permitting process, more streamlined to attract investors, and that's what city. Uh, Civic San Diego will be doing. So that will help because uh, investors did not want to come into our district because it took them so long to develop and it cost them so much. But now I'm going to have specific plans, work with Civic San Diego, work with the Diamond BI dude to make, to attract investors into our district so that they can start uh, shovel ready projects like almost immediately. And that will help attract jobs into our community. But how do you get the investors to come in? Well, you know, by asking them. I've already been uh, meeting with the California Restaurant Association and other uh, developers to say, Myrtle, we want to do these projects. There is a project right now uh, in Valencia Park that they want to come in and have a, a grocery store. They said, Myrtle, we have plans. We're ready to do, to do this. Help us do this. So we have investors wanting to come into our district that I'm going to be meeting with along with uh, Bishop uh, George Dallas McKinney and working with these developers to, to put a grocery store into our area. So they want to come in. It's just the fact that we just have to make sure that the permitting process is a lot more streamlined. I want to change gears quickly. Gang violence continues to plague southeastern San Diego. You're a former police officer. What needs to happen to bring these murders down? What we need to do is have a better relationship with our police officers. The NAACP had a event last night with police officers, with the uh, district attorney, with um, uh, attorneys and ACLU to say, you know, this is an issue. We want to make sure that we address the issue because people don't want to um, talk about crimes. They don't want to tell about the crimes because they're scared. So we have to have a better relationship with our police officers. And that's what we have to start developing. And the first part of it was having meetings like this, like last night, saying, you know, we, this is an issue that we are trying to address. This is what the police officers are saying. We want to make sure that we have more community-oriented policing so that we can talk to members of the community without them being scared, without them being threatened. We want to build a better relationship. That's the first and foremost. Also, we have to create jobs for our youth, and we have some summer jobs online that we have to get them into to keep, keep them out of the street. You've been endorsed by the San Diego Imperial County's Labor Council. You're on break from the United Domestic Workers, that union. How do you respond to concerns expressed by some that you are simply a pawn of organized labor who's trying to take over District 4 very quickly? I am supported by teachers, by nurses, by home care providers, by trash truck drivers, by firefighters, by police officers. If that's special interest, thank you so much, special interest. Those are the people that live next door to everyone that supports me. That's what labor is, working families. That's all labor is, just working families. And I'm honored to be supported by these people. Myrtle Cole, thank you so much for coming in today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.